Not everything that may be an invention may be patented. Some subject matter is out of bounds according to patent law and case law created by court decisions. Patentable inventions are a subset of all inventions, and some inventions fall into an iffy category that makes patentability hard to determine. If you are an independent inventor, it is highly probable that your inventions are patentable, but it won't hurt to double check at this point before you set out on a project of considerable effort to create a non-provisional patent application. Here are four categories of subject matter that are definitely patentable. Physical apparatus and machinery, articles of manufacture, methods and processes, and compositions of matter. The first patentable category is physical apparatus and machinery. These are real things that have physical parts that work in conjunction with one another. A lawnmower, a clothespin, a crossbow, and a cellular telephone are all physical apparatus and are patentable. If your invention falls in this category, you're likely good to go. The second patentable category is articles of manufacture, which are physical things without moving parts. A classic example is the wooden pencil. It has a wooden body surrounding a graphite core and perhaps an eraser on one end. A pool cue, a tennis racket, and a lamp stand are other examples. If your invention falls in this category, you are also good to go. The third patentable category is methods and processes. If you had invented a new way of doing something to be patented as a process or a method, it must involve in the specification, the figures and the claims, steps for accomplishing a purpose, acting on physical objects by other physical objects, and the steps must be an improvement over how this method was accomplished at the time you file your application. Method inventions are particularly vulnerable to rejection as merely reciting an abstract idea. Your invention has to accomplish significantly more than an abstract idea. If your invention falls in this category and meets these criteria, you are also good to go. New compositions of matter form a patentable category. New alloys with different constituents of metals. New formulations of liquid mixtures, such as ointments and vitamin supplements. New formulations of dry ingredients, such as fertilizer mixtures. If your invention falls into this category, again, you're likely good to go. Now, there are a number of things that are not patentable. Laws of nature, natural phenomena, and naturally occurring products cannot be patented. Abstract ideas like mathematical formulas, for example, are not patentable. Mental processes, these are those processes that require in the steps only a judgment or decision by a person. These processes are not patentable. Printed matter is not patentable. Computer software per se is not patentable. Although many systems and processes that incorporate software may very well be patentable. Methods of doing business in general are not patentable. If your invention falls into one of these categories, patentability is not definitely probable. And if you are unsure, you should ask for an experienced opinion from a professional. The U.S. Supreme Court decided on June 2014 in a unanimous decision that Alice Corporation's patents in suit were invalid as reciting essentially only abstract ideas. If your invention is wholly or largely based on computer operations on data, there may be a problem with the Alice concept in examination. But don't just give up because the application of the Alice decision is still in evolution. Also, if your invention is in this gray area, you can be sure in preparation that you provide detail that may provide substantially more than the abstract idea. Then you'll have the opportunity to claim it in that way as well. 
The bigger problem has been for those inventors who filed before the Alice decision. If you still feel your invention is in the realm of patentable subject matter, select step number four in our navigation guide and we will guide you in doing a search to boost your confidence that your invention is new and not obvious. And if you are unsure, you should seek an experienced professional opinion.